Hey everyone, it's Riley. In this video, I am going to be painting this DIY hamster platform that I made. This is made out of wood, and then the legs are just dowel rods. The design that I chose to paint onto this platform is the platform nine and three quarters logo from Harry Potter because it just fits. And um, this is to be used in a Harry Potter themed hamster cage that I will be doing a video on in the future once I set that all up. As you can probably already tell, I sketched out my design prior to filming this video with a pencil. And if you're wondering about the paint that I'm using, if you haven't watched my Hagrid's Hut painting time lapse already, this paint is 100% non-toxic and water-based, so it is okay if a hamster were to chew on it. But if my next hamster is an excessive chewer, I will be taking it out of the cage. One thing that I would like to mention is that this video is really, really long. It's like nine minutes long, which is because this took me two hours to paint. So the time lapse is quite long because of that. Another thing I would like to say is that I do apologize for my hand because my hand was blocking the camera view in a few of these clips. So you can't exactly see what I'm painting. So I'm sorry about that. I tried to keep it out of the camera, but sometimes it just was. So at the moment, I'm just painting the nine and three quarters logo, and then I'm gonna go on to the brick patterned background. Once I was all happy with the 9 and 3 quarters logo and how it looked, I began by mixing the colors to paint on the brick mortar for the brick patterned background. Once I finished with the brick mortar, I began by painting on the bricks and I just filled in the rectangles with red to make that pattern. And I'm really sorry if there's any weird lighting changes in this segment. Um, I think my camera was focusing. I'm not really sure what was going on, but I do apologize if there are any dark spots in the video. I think that painting all the little rectangles on the platform was my least favorite part of the entire process and it was also the longest. It got really repetitive just painting rectangles over and over and over again and then it just took a really long time to adjust each rectangle to square it up. So in this clip I'm just waving a paintbrush around in front of the camera basically because I was excited that I finally found this brush because it made squaring up the edges of the bricks so much easier. I don't know why I didn't use it before.
Just as I was starting to see the end of this process, I realized that my brick pattern was totally wrong because brick does not look like this. Brick looks like this. So I had to go ahead and combine some of the rectangles in order to fix the pattern. So I slowed this clip down in order to really show you what I was doing by combining two rectangles in order to make one big long rectangle to create an actual brick pattern. After fixing the platform and tweaking the final design, here is what the platform looks like. So after letting the platform dry overnight, I got out my materials and I was ready to go and seal the platform with Mod Podge. And then I tried to open that Mod Podge and I could not get it open, it was glued shut. Then I finally got it open and I was ready to start sealing the platform. But now a quick word on Mod Podge. So Mod Podge is a water-based sealer, glue, and finish that is safe for hamsters because it is water-based, like I just said, and it is also non-toxic. After completing the entire process of the platform, I'm going to leave this to dry for a couple of hours. After I left it to dry, here is the finished result of the platform. I'm super happy with how this turned out. The colors are all really nice and bright, and I think that the Mod Podge looks really nice on it as it gives the platform a pretty glossy finish. Thank you so much for watching this super long video, and I hope you enjoyed it. I cannot wait to feature this platform in a future hamster's enclosure.